game, nothing in Twilight is easy. And while it wasn't always easy, it was pretty often very funny. One joke involved the majority of the main cast, another a hook and sandbag, and another, well, let's just say the swearing jar on set was quite full. We've got 15 hilarious behind scenes moments coming right up. Number one. It's really not what you'd think it would be. Who knew these vampires could groove so hard? We really got into it. The entire extended cast, we're talking all those in the vampire coven, got together to dance it out on set in the middle of filming. And we all thought it was the best idea we'd ever heard. That was genius. Most of the cast was in on it. The camera crew was in on it. But director Bill Condon, he didn't know what was coming. Condon was ready to work, but instead of performing the material everyone was expecting to film... First AD called action, the music blasted. The sound of Sweet Dreams by Eurythmics filled the studio and the vampires got down. The actors divvied themselves up, giving strong West Side Story dance-off vibes that left everyone feeling good after the prank was pulled off. Bill Condon even called it one of the greatest moments I've ever had on a set. It's a good thing he took it so well. It still amazes me that they were able to keep it secret. Number two. Who doesn't like a little bit of romance? I did prank Maggie Grace. Carlisle, aka Peter Facinelli, decided he'd stir the on-set romance pot, pretending to be another cast member in order to ask Maggie Grace out on a date. What he didn't anticipate was just how kind she'd be to him. And it was really awkward because she was being really sweet. To make it all worse, this wasn't a private affair at all. Like the whole cast was in the room though, it was yeah. really awkward. After going along with it for a bit, Facinelli finally fessed up and let Grace off the hook. I told her it wasn't that cast member, it was me. Grace did find the whole thing amusing in the end, and wasn't shy to whip out the sass after finding out just who was actually asking her out. Her answer was not up for debate. And yeah, then right. I was like, definitely no. Yeah. <laughs> Number three. On totally dry land? How does that make any sense? Well, if you've ever seen fake rain on a set, you'll know it can be absolutely brutal. Sometimes even worse than a regular rain shower. I'm drowning. I'm sorry. Filming this scene between Kristen Stewart and Taylor Lautner was anything but enjoyable, especially for Case 2. This is ridiculous. Luckily, they laughed through it a bit, but it's clear this was a tough day, especially considering just how many takes they wound up needing to do just to capture the footage needed. Number four. Sometimes their best efforts didn't quite cut it. Cars and doors can ruin a shocking amount of takes. Stuck car doors got the best of Taylor Lautner and Kristen Stewart. As much as they tried to make it part of the scene and film through, they were fighting battles they were not gonna win. Not their smoothest moments. Somehow, filming some of the more dramatic moments on set failed to be tragic and instead were filled with laughter and shenanigans behind the scenes. An intense and serious emergency medical moment seemed like the perfect time for Robert Pattinson to practice his CPR with his on-screen romance. He was having a great time. Stewart, on the other hand, not so much. Number 5. This joke fell awkwardly flat. Peter Facinelli was whipping jokes out left, right, and center, and when he stumbled upon a card in a store, he figured it would be the perfect accessory to help him execute his next prank. And I <laughs> bought it, and I signed it, and I gave it to Rob. So what did this card say? You are not what you do for a living. And the inside read, I hope someday you find the job that's right for you. Ouch. Fast forward to Rob receiving the card, totally confused as to why his co-star was even giving it to him in the first place. And in the end, the payoff really wasn't worth it since it went right over Pattinson's head. And he read it and he was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> he didn't get that it was a joke. What can we say? Not every joke is a winner. Number six. Enemies on screen, BFFs behind the scenes. No matter if you're Team Jacob or Team Edward, it's evident from seeing how much these two laugh together on set that they're anything but enemies in reality. Having to film broody and tense scenes was made much harder by the fact that the actors joked around a lot, resulting in a ton of unusable takes filled with the actors corpsing on camera. Filming the tense scene was meant to be a very intense chat between the boys, and in the movie, it was, but on set, neither of the actors could keep a straight face during the serious moment. They were not going method, that's for sure. Number seven. One lead actor also performed as their own stand-in. How exactly? 
Well, Taylor Lautner was up for anything filming Twilight, including doing whatever he could to support his co-star Kristen Stewart. There's an intimate moment where Jacob joins Bella. Though we're not sure wearing a gray, non-reflective spandex onesie was exactly what he had in mind. Considering just how awkward and ridiculous it looked, we're glad it was just the one scene he did this for. Everything from the outfit to the silence to the petting moment was totally cringy. We have to do ultimately is cover Taylor up with a wolf. Yeah, no kidding. Number 8. Who says there's anything wrong with the classics? Peter Facinelli pulled his fair share of pranks on set, but according to him, it was actually Eddie Gathegi who was the biggest jokester on set. Eddie was particularly talented when it came to changing the sound of his voice, and together with Facinelli, they decided they should take advantage of the fact by calling co-star Jackson Rathbone, pretending to be someone from the production team. Eddie's prank call alter ego, Susie, told Rathbone, we just want to tell you that we're dyeing your hair back to brown because we don't like the blonde hair. Rathbone was convinced, and instead of questioning the sudden change, he reached out to his manager immediately. His manager's reaction, Oh, thank God, I hated you with blonde hair. This was a hard dose of reality when Eddie revealed it had indeed been him on the phone all along, leaving Rathbone's manager backpedaling their comments from before after learning the truth. Number 9. People didn't always know which team they were on, though. The cast and crew were getting exhausted, loopy from hours of filming for days on end, so a selected few decided to liven things up a bit, attaching photos of different actors to people's backs. Charlie Bewley printed a photo of himself in character, wrote Team Dimitri on it, and then made sure to stick it to Nikki Reed's back. And he got her good, since the actress didn't notice for hours. This set off a whole chain reaction, with photos that said Team Bella, Team Edward, Team Cullen, Team Jacob, anything you could imagine, stuck to the back of cast and crew members throughout the set. Number 10. And not in a good way. A jokester himself, Gurry Weinberg, was the victim of a prank that got him good, and it was all thanks to a hook and a sandbag. A production assistant attached a hook to his coat, and then to that, a sandbag. Weinberg was busy chatting with Stephanie Meyer, and while Meyer witnessed the whole thing, she did not let anything slip, leaving Weinberg completely caught off guard when he stood up to walk away, only to be thrust back down in maybe the least graceful way possible. Always gotta be watching your back on these sets. Number 11. And then there was some swearing. Noel Fisher and Gurry Weinberg started what became an epic and ongoing prank while filming, and the concept was pretty simple. These castmates would tell each other to go F yourself. Yes, that was the game. Not particularly creative, but it kept them entertained for a shockingly long time. The GFYS team grew to include multiple cast and crew members, including Robert Pattinson, Kristen Stewart, and Stephanie Meyer. Number 12. The planning was solid, the execution could have used some work. Brace Dallas Howard wanted to bring some fun to the set, so she enlisted Robert Pattinson to help her in pulling off a joke on the crew. The joke was that Howard had pre-planted some hair from Rob's stunt double's wig in her hand, going into the scene when she was meant to pull Rob's hair. But once she did the hair rip, Rob awkwardly said, Ow! in what was surely one of his worst acting moments ever. Howard had hoped Pattinson would cause a big scene, yelling and storming off set, and he did anything but. Twilight is filled with some intense moments and real drama, but the team was always ready for a laugh and looking at the behind the scenes footage, it's evident it was typically a pretty fun time on set, even if it was because everyone was exhausted and feeling loopy. Which joke do you think was most successful? 